Our fourth outstanding alum is from the mighty class of 1968, and that is none other than Harley Westfall. And I was told, Harley, to be sure and mention the word mighty in front of your class uh, year. Uh, here's Harley's video. Adrian Steele Board Chairman and Adrian High School Class of 1968, Harley Westfall, is being honored for his accomplishments in business and industry. After attending Princeton University and then graduating from Colorado State University, Westfall taught American history and coached football at Wheat Ridge High in Colorado. In 1976, he came home to work at Adrian Steele beside his father in the family steel distribution business that Robert had started in 1953. Upon the death of his father in 1981, Harley became president of the company and remained in that role for 25 years. Harley had been an outstanding athlete throughout his high school and college years, but business presented new challenges. In a Forbes magazine article, he is quoted as saying, If you make a mistake coaching, maybe you lose a first down, maybe a touchdown. But if I make a real bonehead decision in business, there are a lot of people who depend on me for their livelihood and that of their families. It weighs on me. Adrian Steele is a company that makes and installs shelves, drawers, and ladder racks in commercial vans. His strategic decision to create subsidiaries, expand the distribution network, add to the product line, and modernize the manufacturing process led to ultra success. From 1976 through his tenure as president, Adrian Steele went from revenues of $2 million with companies in two states to $200 million with companies in eight states plus Canada, all while recognizing all employees for their company's success. Harley took over responsibility for a family business and kept the business a family. He created and implemented a profit-sharing plan to recognize the efforts of his company family. Classmate Bill Cunningham shared some insights about Harley. He said, Harley's exceptional qualities are manifest in everything he has done throughout his life. Harley is gifted in intellect and logic. He possesses great analytical ability that allows him to be successful, whether figuring out ways to win in a sporting competition, growing a business, or providing for family and friends. Harley is strong-minded, determined, competitive, and goal-oriented. He leads by example and supports all of those around him. Westfall's affinity for sports has been apparent throughout his life, having received football and wrestling accolades in high school and football and rugby recognition in college. After college, he was a member of one of the first USA rugby teams to tour Great Britain and was an Eastern Rookies Rugby Football Union All-Star. These athletic accomplishments are examples of Harley's drive, leadership, strategic thinking, and value of teamwork. Harley resides with his wife, Teresa T. Westfall, in Windsor, Colorado. His love for athletics remains current as he serves as assistant coach to his son, Scott, who is head coach for the eighth grade football team at Bolts Middle School in Fort Collins, Colorado. Come on up, Harley, and uh, accept your award. First of all, I'd like to thank a couple of my classmates uh, who nominate, nominated me for uh, this award, Susie Rink Arbaugh and Bill Cunningham. I'm honored to receive this award. Truth be known, however, I suspect that Susie and Bill had had a few drinks before they nominated me. <laughs> I have fond memories of Adrian High School both when I attended uh, and when our son Scott 
uh, went to Adrian High School some 30 years later. After I graduated from Colorado State University, um, my dad, he asked me to come back and work at Adrian Steel Company. Uh, at that time, I said, uh, thanks for the offer, Dad, but you know, I really want to be the next Bo Schembechler. So as things turned out, I, I got a job at Wheat Ridge High School in Denver, Colorado, uh, teaching and coaching football. After each school year, uh, my dad would ask me again, you know, ready to come back. No, I'm still working on this uh, Schembechler thing, Dad. <laughs> well, after, uh, after four years, uh, my dad's health started to slip a little bit. So that time, when he asked me, I said, yeah, I'll, I'll come back to Adrian, and I'll, and I'll give it two years. And uh, that was 36 years ago. A lot of people have asked me about the transition from coaching football to working at Adrian Steel Company. Uh, my answer has always been the same. Uh, I never stopped coaching. The team just got a little bigger. Uh, there was one primary difference. This was mentioned in the video. Uh, in coaching, if I made a mistake, you know, it might cost the team a first down, a touchdown, or worst case scenario, the football game. But at Adrian Steel Company, if, if I made a mistake, uh, a lot of my teammates, uh, whose livelihood depended upon uh, my decision making, uh, their livelihoods were at stake. And that, that does have a tendency to, to wear on a person. And I admit there were probably several uh, nights that I you know, stayed up thinking about that. Um, when I was uh, uh, when I was going through uh, Adrian High School, um, I was influenced by uh, teachers and uh, coaches. Some of the philosophies that I had, both in coaching and at Adrian Steele, uh, were influenced by by some of these folks. Of course, I include my parents, uh, Bob and Susie Westfall, as part of that group. Treat others the way you would like to be treated. I think this is critical to the success of any team or any organization. I know it's something that we try and practice at Adrian Steel Company. Can you imagine how different our team of legislators would be if Congress adhered to this notion of treating others the way you would like to be treated. I think we'd be a heck of a lot farther ahead. Accountability and holding yourself to a higher standard than those around you. There were two teachers at Adrian High School that they were very demanding. They were fair. They were demanding, though. Um, they would accept nothing less than your best effort, and they would accept no excuses. Uh, Miss Ruth Sherman was a English composition teacher of mine, and Mr. Joe Pullen in biology. Um, they held you accountable. At Ader and Steel Company, um, our compensation to our employees is based on a couple of things. The amount of responsibility that that person has and the accountability that is demonstrated to achieve their goals. Never ask someone to do something that you wouldn't do yourself. In other words, lead by example. This was the mantra of our football coach, Gary McNitt. As one of the senior captains uh, in football, Coach McNitt, he expected me to attend every summer preseason workout. When the regular season started, I was expected to be one of the first people on the field, the practice field, and one of the last persons to leave the practice field. We always ran wind sprints at the end of practice. It was expected that I would be toward the head of the pack. 
uh, for each sprint. At Adrian Steel Company, in years past, there were times when the company got extremely busy. As a result of that, um, our shop ended up working a lot of overtime. Uh, there were stretches that, uh, when I remember our shop people were working 10 hours a day, Monday through Friday, plus they were working some Saturdays, eight hours a day. Myself and other office employees would sometimes work a Saturday out in the shop uh, to try and give our workers, either give them that Saturday off, or if nothing else, at least to be working side by side with them. Many of the office workers had started out working in the shop, had started out working production. Through promotion from within, uh, they, they accepted positions down in the office. Because of their prior experience, they were very successful in, in, in filling in on these Saturdays. They were very effective. As for me, however, the joke around the shop was that I never made rate. Didn't matter whether I was working on a punch press or a brake press or a spot welder, never made rate. Try as hard as I could, never made rate. As a matter of fact, they referred to me as Mr. Bad Wrench. <laughs> I would like to thank all of my teammates at Adrian Steel Company. Uh, there are a few of those folks here tonight. Um, we are the A-Team. I would like to thank you members of the A-Team uh, for your hard work, your dedication, and your perseverance over these many years. For without their loyalty and without their effort, I would not be standing here tonight. I would like to thank the Foundation and go Maples. Thanks, Harley. Congratulations to you as well.